Yes, this video is for Chris um, from Facebook on the Traffic Light Group. I uh, promised you a video. I'll keep my promises. Uh, but anywho, um, here's the light in operation. Um, you have to excuse the wiring. It's uh, just temporary. But as you can see, works good. Uh, this light over here um, was kind of an experiment. Originally, I wanted red, white, and blue like a Patriot theme, uh, but the white didn't really come out as planned. So right now, it's just uh, red, blue, red. Um, but anything was better than what it was because it was really bad looking when I got it. But it was only ten dollars. The guy just wanted to get rid of it, so I said, "Well, for ten dollars, uh, what the heck?" But anyway, um, here's the light. Just. Uh, Quick overview here. Change there. I'm just using one of those little. I'm not really gonna go full hobbies like with these lights. I really just have them just for the soothingness part of. It, if that makes sense, more like a um, just soothing to watch them change. But yep, um, that's the light. Should change here. I put it on the short cycle. Come on. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. I'm going to eventually get all these on poles, like my old lights I'm about to show you. But anywho, that's that light. I got from a friend in Graham named Cameron. Um, he's on the Highway Divides forum. I'm not sure if he's on the Facebook forum, but... um. Let's see if I can get that a little bit free here. But yeah, he um, came over to see my collection and saw that they have really nothing old, like classic looking. So he offered me this one and I took up the offer. Uh, when I originally got it, it was yellow, but it was like really, it was badly in need of paint. I'll say that. It wasn't like this yellow, you know, like fresh yellow, but. Um, they yeah, took up the offer. I'm kind of glad I did. Um, like, uh, like you said, there are probably some purists out there who's just like, "Oh my gosh, you painted a classic signal, or something else." But it, me personally, I'm not really a purist per se. I just, like I said, I just like the, I just like lights in general. It's just soothing to me to watch them change, and I also like computers. So the automation kind of just attracts me to these lights. Uh, but yeah, it's. I really like that one. Out of all the ones I have, that's my now my favorite one. But anywho, that's that light. Um, let me just give you a little tour here. That's my five head eagle. Got that um, a while back, but it's pretty nice. It's like the arrow version. It's got the turn arrows on the left and the balls on the right. Um, this one's a marble light with LFV 8 inch sections. It's got a green arrow for the green. Um, as soon as it turns green you'll see here. Let me back up a little bit. See when that one turns green you'll see. Um, yeah, there we go. Alright see it. That one's got a green arrow. Yellow ball and red ball. Um, these two over here are this one is a older econ light that's made kind of like a McCain kind of. But yeah, this is that was one of my first lights starting off. This one over here is another eagle, a black eagle. It's all arrows. Green arrow. Um over here I have my forehead uh, eagle which is the cap style visors I kind of customized this one keep in mind every signal you see when I received it was in very bad condition so that's the other thing I like about these lights I can just restore them how I want them to you know pretty much bring back the life because these things are really beat up when I got them I mean really beat up and like I said I'm not a complete purist so that's why they're all painted kind of funky colored but it's just a hobby, like, it's just something for me to, just takes my mind off of things. 
But this one, I kind of, luckily I got the back plate with it. Um, unfortunately, I had to cut at the time. This was mounted down on that wood. Um, I have to give a big shout out to Nick, who taught me how to do the pole with the 1.5 inch pole. So, big shout out to Nick there. Thanks for helping me out. Um, I'm eventually going to get all these signals on poles, but as you can imagine, pole costs are pretty steep. <laughs> but anywho, um, yeah, this one's on pole. This light and that light were my first two original signals ever, before all these other ones. They were just experiments, really. But, um, over here, this one I kind of designed after where I work at. Um, it's located at 506 Sterling Street. So I got the custom sign there. Um, this particular light came with this light, which was originally all yellow. But once again, everything I get is beat up, so I had to repaint it. And um, as you can see, I got my school. Well, it's the school's logo on there where I work at. So I just recustomized that. Um, this is the Eagle Flatback. And that's a Durasig. Yeah, Durasig. Um, this is an LFE. This one was really beat up when I got it. The top part had a huge, this whole section under this little cap is just destroyed. So what I did is I, I kind of made a little cap to put on top of it. I know it's not perfect, but at least it hides the damage part. Um, I got this pedestrian housing from Cameron and Graham. He's kind of my traffic light buddy here in North Carolina. Uh, it's got the countdown. Um, head in it and in the signal I don't know if you can I don't know if you can really tell but uh, it's got a ball and then it's got a green arrow and a yellow arrow on that one. I don't know if you can see the green arrow in the reflection. Uh, there you go. And it's got a yellow on this one. Um but yeah that's that. Um now these, uh, like I said, are all going to be on poles eventually. I just haven't had the chance to do it yet. Um, and the only ones I have left are... Let me show you back here. We have excuse the mess. This is kind of like a catch-all room. But um, this is just pretty much where I keep all the extra signals at. This is eventually going to be a train room. But I'm going to have like, my old trains running. But for the meantime, it's just a catch-all room until I can get the funds to make the layout. Um, but anyway, that's a Mark V for my buddy Cameron and Graham. Um, I have to repaint this one. And he's, he basically gave it to me. It's going to be a project piece. I have to get the lenses, the visors, pretty much everything for that signal. So that's kind of on the back burner right now. Um, Eagle Ped. This is one of the large ones. Let's see if I can pull it out here for you. Just the hand and the um, man. I'm eventually, like I said, all these lights are going to be in the living room on poles. Just right now, I'm financially strapped. So, right now, they're just kind of in storage. Um, this is a Walker Brothers. Um, originally, it came with um, torn up black visors, but I had some yellow ones laying around. So that's why the colors kind of don't match, but um, like I said, this is better than what it was. And my last two signals are over here. Um, I can't really get to them right now because I have a lot of stuff in front of them, but the left one is a TCT, and the right one is a McCain. And they're all, of course, 12-inch lights um, that I'm going to eventually get hooked up. But yeah, um, like I said, all these lights have been badly damaged or just neglected. I repainted them. And uh, yeah, um, so I don't really paint all of them funky colors. It's just I know there's some unwritten rule out there that the collectors try not to get the exact same signal. But in cases where the price is really cheap, like $10, <laughs> I can't pass that up. So that's why I paint the other ones kind of like funky colors just to differentiate them I guess you could say but yeah this is pretty much my little collection um these two pedestrian symbols down here are modules they're just backups in case the one in the window goes out 
Now, if you're asking why these are in the window, all these are connected together. Um, I don't have a little box yet for it, but it's all connected to that control panel there. And it's all run off of a motion sensor. There's the plug for the motion sensor. The sticker's in the way. But on the outside of my door, I have a um, motion sensor outside. Um, our area has a lot of kids like to steal and vandalize stuff. So the reason why I got into traffic lights originally was that I needed something that would scare kids off, you know, who were doing bad stuff. And I was going to do just the table lamp I did with the motion sensor, but I was like, no, I need something that's got automation that'll make the kids think somebody's actually sitting there watching them, you know, changing the lights to scare them. So that's why I got those in the window. Um, they pop on for about 10 minutes and they shut off if there's no motion. Uh, they come back on and they just kind of cycle, you know, just like the regular, like these ones are cycling over here. <sighs> but anyway, sorry this video is so long. But this is pretty much my little collection. Um, I keep telling myself I'm gonna get it. Like every time I get a signal, I'm like, okay, this is it. But for some reason, this is a very addictive hobby. It, it really is. But um, as you can see, I don't have much space like the average hobbyist would have. It's basically just a three-bedroom house, uh, one level. There's no basement. Well, there's a crawl space, but no basement. And there's an attic, but it's it's an old attic. It's not the one that you can just crawl up and put stuff in. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I made this video just for Chris because I told him I'd make him one. But if anyone else is watching, uh, well, thanks for watching. I'll go ahead and let this cycle. Um, and then I'll uh, go ahead and turn this off. Kraus Hans uh, D, I think he said it was a D or DT. But, yep, um, Sorry to all the collector, the pure collectors. I just, I just wanted something that would stick out. And the reason why I painted it red and black is because it was kind of like inspiration. I was sitting outside, just you know, just admiring the scenery, and a red cardinal kind of flew from in front of me and just kind of looked at me. And then I thought about it, and then I thought, I was like, wait a minute, that signal kind of does resemble the bird because it's got the little fins right there which I shouldn't actually paint it that red because they have the red little feathers on the top of the head but I wasn't really thinking at the time but either way I'm still happy how it came out um so yeah that's my little collection um like I said I'm not full fledged I just like watching them mostly just cycle it's just to me it's just very soothing you know come home from a long stressful day and just sit on my couch and just watch them cycle um, but hopefully, like all those lights I just showed you back in my room are going to be out here. Uh, these two for now are just going to stay on the floor. Because um, what I was going to do, I was going to two-way these two, and they'll be up over those. I'm going to move these over that way. And these are going to be a two-way in that corner. And two of the other lights in there, I think I'm going to do the... I might do the McCain and the TCT in this corner, and they're going to be hovering over these two lights while these stay on the ground. Um, I've never seen a five head on a pole. I'm not sure if that's even possible. I've never seen it in person. If you have a link to show me, to give me an idea how I can do it, it'd be greatly appreciated. But until then, I'm thinking this one's just going to stay on the floor. This one I may put on a pole later on. Um, I may or may not, it may stay on the floor, it just all depends. But um, I have, for all these other extra signals I have, um, I have this, it's a, um, a, a full intersection board from, um, what is that company again? Sorry, I'm having an early senior moment here. TS Control, yeah, that's what it is. It's supposed to be a full intersection board, so I modified it. And I got this at some woodsy arts and crafts store. And I had all these sitting around, so I kind of just connected them all together. So that way each light will have its own um, connection point. And then it has an all red uh, phase. We can just push that on. And both way, all of them flash red. So um, that's coming later when I have to get all the lights and poles. So that's just kind of a back burner kind of thing. 
Um, it does support a pedestrian button, but at the time, at the moment, I can't afford one, so I kind of just built one. This here. So I'm just gonna put. I'm gonna print out a picture of a push button and put it in like over it to at least give the illusion that it's a push. I mean, it's a push button, but not the authentic one. But anywho, uh, thanks for watching. That's my up-to-date collection up to this point. Um, 2017, but hope you like it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.